It's the longest running musical revival in Broadway history. And this production with an all South African cast is on a year long international tour. Philip, Chicago the Musical is an iconic production. What has the experience been like taking it across the globe? It is so beautifully directed and thought through and subtle. It's also quite a challenge because it's cut to the bare bones. There's no huge set, there are no magnificent costumes. The actors are in fact very, very exposed. So it demands an enormous amount of truth in playing it. The dance sequences were originally designed by Oscar-winning choreographer Bob Fosse. Darren Khrieff is keeping the dancing at that level. You've trained the cast in perfecting the iconic dance numbers of Bob Fosse. How intense have the rehearsals been? The audition process was crazy. I was shocked. Uh, we had so many people coming in and we had our production team from New York that came in. And we had, I think, in the first group of girls, there were about 100 girls that came in. And within the first five minutes, I think we were left with 20. Because it's such a specific look, it's such a specific style, it's such a specific way of picking things up. The training throughout that was an intense six-week dance training where it was training everybody the fussy style authentically. So we're not here just kicking a leg, we're not here just doing a turn or just a hand movement. There's a thought process behind every movement. Samantha Pio and Carmen Pretorius play the roles of Valma Kelly and Roxy Hart, two women standing trial for dispatching their lovers. Roxy and Velma's characters are so intertwined throughout the show. What was it like working alongside Carmen? I mean, we've known each other for so long, and um, we've always had a beautiful, beautiful sense of chemistry yes. and understanding anywhere off stage. So and so, I'm using my, my mentor. So I'm super, <laughs> super excited to work with Thanks, you. Yeah. And so, yeah, just on stage, it just, it's really helped our chemistry, and we've been supportive of each other, and it's just been, I think, the best partnership. And to have her having played Roxy to learn from that is, an, is a great asset. To have someone who's supportive of me playing it now, you know, yeah. she's handed over. Well, she's a star, so. <laughs> Craig Avani has the happy task of spending each night on stage surrounded by gorgeous, competitive, feisty women with a passion for self promotion. Why is Billy one of your favorite characters to play? Tell us about him. I play um, Billy Flynn, who's like this smooth, suave lawyer who he's never lost a case. He gets all these murderesses off. He's very cool, eloquent. He's somewhat immoral, you know, he'll, he'll do whatever it takes to win. But the idea is that he gets them off and the audience love him for it. And, and you do. And that's, and that's part of the charm of the piece and the, and the kind of irony of the piece is that you love and feel for these unsavory characters because they're presented in, this, in the most charming a uh, beautiful, elegant way. The worst elements of human nature make for a compelling storyline, sung by top artists like Ilsa Klink, with the backing of a live 11-piece orchestra. So you play Mama Morton, who's quite a complex character. How would you describe her and what would you say is her main motive? Well, I think Mama Morton's main motive for everything is money. That's all she wants, really. But she does care about the girls in the jail. She's the mama. She takes care of these women because she does care that if anything happens to them, she feels responsible and she feels like their parent. The show is based on a play written by a Chicago journalist in the mid-1920s. And Elsa Riporta gets the flapper-era hairdos spot on. I've been chatting to the cast, having so much fun with them all day. I practically feel like I'm one of them already. Well, we can make you one of them if you want to. I would love that. I've always it. wanted to be in Chicago. So being in charge of all the wigs, what does that entail? Well, we come in every single day, three hours before the time, style the wigs. That uh, it's quite difficult because it's all real hair. So it reacts the way your own hair would. So in each city, it'd be different. So it can frizz, the curl can fall out. So we style it, once a week we wash it and reset it and then 
hour before the show, the girls come in and we put it on their heads. Goodness. What do you think? <laughs> I think you look amazing. Yeah, you and half of Chicago. But all you need now is some red lips. This musical is a celebration of the little black dress and Sue Daniels turns it into an art form. What makes this wardrobe unique? The fact that it's all black, besides Billy that's got a bit of white and Amos that's got a little bit of cream in. Each character is sexy and sleek and each costume is made for that person that makes the whole storyline come together. <laughs> well, I've got the hair, I've got the lips, I just need the outfits. Let's try and complete the outfit. Chicago runs at Artscape Cape Town until the 14th of April, then at Monte Cassino's Teatro in Johannesburg from the 20th of April to the 26th of May.